Welcome to the fun of infusing oils. Yeah, g'day. How's your mic here today? Well, you know, when you go to those la -de da shops and uh, you get some of that really fancy oil that just smells great. It's got herbs in it of all sorts. Well, you know, it's really easy to put that stuff together yourself. Doesn't take much, just a little bit of oil, a couple of jars, some uh, mason jars, and of course, um, fresh herbs. Make sure they're fresh, uh, clean, so wash and dry them. Um, I use a handy little trick when you wash them, put them into a uh, salad spinner and just spin them around and get the water out and then dry them off with a little bit of paper towel. Okay, the harder ones to do, especially these um, citrus, then you, you really need a potato peeler and the rest of it is very easy. You just make sure you get a nice run off the skin. Try not to get too much of the white, the white pith, uh, mostly just the, um, the actual fruit skin itself. Now, if oil's been sitting on a shelf, um, it's gonna get a little stale, a little unhappy. And uh, this is a great way to freshen up our oil and make it a lot more tasty. Um, of course, it's bonus time. When oil is cheap on the market, grab it. And if fruit is cheap on the market, grab it and spend a little bit of time, take your peels off. Uh, an important thing is when, when, you're, when your product has been infused and you're happy with the taste, and really the timing is down to taste, when you feel as though you, it's been in there a while, maybe a month, six weeks, whatever, uh, when the taste is right for you, take it out of the jars and don't forget to put it into something that's green because green and getting it out of the sunlight is very important for the longevity of your oil. So when it's done in the jars, get it out of there and pop it into a green jar. Okay, green bottle. Got my pill, yeah, and I've had to hurry because my wife wants her grapefruit for lunch and um, I've got to push it through a little bit. But luckily the next step is very easy. Let me just take our product and get it into the jars Make sure the product is clean and dry and the jars have been sterilized. Just imagine the oil, imagine the taste. My wife came in here a minute ago to see where a grapefruit was and she said, Oh, I love the smell. Oh, love the time is just beautiful. <laughs> and it's the rosemary. Oh, the rosemary is fantastic. So it really is a great benefit to have some wonderful oils in your kitchen. Great oil is a great taste. So we've done the uh, the grapefruit. This is the lemon. Clean and dry into the jars. And then the next bit is really pretty easy. You put the oil in. Close it up. Get it close to the top. You don't want a lot of air in the jars while you're sitting there with it. The rosemary. Time. And this, in a little while, will be absolutely rewarding. Okay. So that's all done. Don't forget, when you've tasted them, 
and they feel like they're pretty well ready to you, you like the taste, take them out of the, the jars, put them into green bottles, and while they're in the jars, close them up, close the jars up, don't forget to put the date on the jars, and then you'll know when you started. Just in a little while, just taste it and see how you go, and I think you'll be very happy with it. Okay, don't worry. Here comes your grapefruit, honey. Ooh.